Hello and welcome to another Spruce and Brews unboxing. Today we're looking at a new kit for Warhammer, the Horus Heresy, the Leviathan Siege Dreadnought with ranged weapons. So first of all, massive thanks to Games Workshop for sending us a free review copy of this to unbox and have a look at on the channel. Uh, yeah, I'm really looking forward to this one. So one of the cool things about the, uh, the the recent edition of the Horus Heresy is that Games Workshop had the opportunity to take some of those old Forge World resin kits and redo them into plastic. It's, um, it's we've certainly seen it with the Age of Darkness box. It's you know breathed new life into the game by allowing stuff like the uh, the Spartan and the Contemptor to finally get kits that are as faithful to the original resin ones as possible which is really really cool uh, and yeah one of the kits that is making the jump from resin to plastic is the leviathan siege dreadnought so the leviathan's got an awful lot of options in the book and um, it's got a mixture of, of ranged weapons and melee weapons this box builds just the ranged weapons for it so uh, if you do want a melee armed one you're going to probably have to wait a little bit longer for that one i suspect it's going to be a separate kit I do suspect that the, the, the mounts for the arms are going to be universal across them, so when I've built it, um, if they are magnetizable, I'll certainly be doing that as part of the, the video and showing you how to do that as well. But um, yeah, this is cool. If you want some uh, heavy support for your Horus Heresy Force, you've got a big stompy dreadnought uh, covered with guns. And it's, um, it's going to be really tough to take down in this edition. Rather than being vehicles, dreadnoughts now have a toughness and wounds value, which makes them a lot more resilient to fire than um, they used to be. You know, obviously in the in the Horus Heresy, a lucky shot on a vehicle can destroy it in a single shot. This thing you've got to chew through off the top of my head. Toughness eight, seven wounds maybe. Don't quote me on that. Uh, it's certainly big and chunky and, and and tough to get through. So yeah, it's going to be a good thing to have in the force. Uh, in the box you get a couple of options for the weapons. You've got the Cyclonic Melter Lance, which I think off the top of my head is a four shot uh, melter gun. The Grav Flux Bombard, which has got a cool kind of like reverse wound thing, where it's a template and you've got to roll under the strength of the target on... Um, roll over the strength of the target on 2d6 to kill him. So basically they've got to roll under it to survive. It's unlikely things are, are not getting wounded by it. And it's got the, uh, the kind of like quad also gun thing strength seven off the top of my head and uh, you can swap out the flamers for volkite and it's got like a phosphex launcher on the top of it as well so all the guns all the time i'm going to be painting up this one in emperor's children colors because i've been working on a bit of a um third company right of war uh, force for them so they've kind of lost the plot a little bit and they're going more aggressive and uh, sonic weaponry and stuff so i think they just go all in on destructive firepower. So yeah, let's crack this open and have a look at the sprues and at the end of the video I'll have this built and painted up to show you what it looks like as well. So if we open up the kit and see what we get inside. We'll put those to one side for now. So we have got a base for it and then we've got four frames by the look of things. So what we'll do is move them to one side for now First of all, we'll look at the weapon frame. So like I say, this doesn't have any melee weapons on it. This is just the ranged weapon options. Um, I suspect we will get a separate kit later on with the, the melee options on them. The sprue is labelled E. Um, so I guess sprue D is probably going to be the one with the melee options and they've split it between two separate kits, which is absolutely fine. Um, I think they'll probably, a lot of the Horus Heresy vehicles and things have got a lot of options, so I think this is something we'll see going forward, that they release two Leviathan kits, two um, Takaran kits, maybe even three, uh, a couple of different Predator kits, just because you've got so many options on them, uh, I think that's probably the best way to do it, it stops it from being a ridiculously expensive kit, and like with the um, Adeptus Satanicus, I suspect there'll be a lot of potential for having magnets and things that can swap out these builds as well so that's pretty cool so we've got here the main body it looks like we've actually got a couple of options as well to have them kind of loyalist or traitor based as well and again if you've got a couple of these in your force you've got different um kind of chest plates for them so that's really cool and uh, one of the things i do want to do is the right of war that lets you take an entire uh, dreadnought army 
So yeah, I will absolutely be picking up a couple of these. Uh, like with the Contemptor, looks like we've got a couple of uh, feet panels as well to allow for um, kind of a standing pose or a walking pose. So that's pretty cool. So that is Ace. And then we've got the final frame, which builds the majority of the body by the look of things. Again, is that another option there? Yeah, there's certainly a few variants you can build with this, which is cool. So, that is a look at the frames. Uh, you also get the generic Horus Heresy transfer sheet with Imperial Fists and Sons of Horus iconography on there. That has been in all the vehicle kits. And then we'll have a quick look at the instructions before we look at the assembled, um, the assembled vehicle as well. So yeah, it looks like we get quite a few different options here. So you've got three different options there. Uh, feet can go together in a couple of ways, whether you want it kind of flat or walking. And this kit looks like it's going to be just as manoeuvrable as the uh, the resin one. So you can do some quite dynamic actions on it. You can have it striding forward. You can have it just stood there if you want it to. So that looks pretty fun. Uh, again, yeah, we do have three different uh, chest panels for it. So again, if you've got multiple of these in your force, you can have them looking all different, which is pretty cool. Again, we've got options for Heavy, Flamer or Volkite. I'll probably stick Volkite on this one that I build up. Um, and then we've got the weapons as well. So, it looks like... I don't know how many of those pieces that we get. But it seems that you could probably stick a magnet in these sections here. Or perhaps in here to have these swappable. I'll need to have a proper look at the parts and see just how many bits that we get for it. I think we only get two, two of them. Yeah, I'm sure there'll be ways to uh, to magnetise this thing though. Um, perhaps a magnet in in the kind of body and one there so it slots in. I'll have a play while I'm building it and just see if there is a way of, of swapping out those weapons because that will be useful when the melee kit comes out. At least you'll be able to put the, the close combat weapons on it as well and have a mixture between them. Um, I don't think there's any shared parts between the weapons. If there are, I'll, I'll let you know at the end of the video. But um, yeah, he looks an absolute beast, doesn't he? That's, uh, that's really cool. So yeah, what we'll do, we'll um, jump ahead into the future where I've got this built and painted. And here's a look at the finished and painted Leviathan. Uh, yeah, really, really nice kit. Uh, due to the vagaries of the warp, this one actually come out after the, the close combat variation, uh, which I have also painted up as well. And uh, the, the arms are compatible between the two of them. So Games Workshop are actually selling um, the, the kind of close combat frame and the range frame separately. So um, you can pick and choose and have a melee arm on one and a ranged arm on if you want. So yeah, both of these uh, kits are really, really nice though. But this vid is on the Leviathan with the range weapons, so have a quick look at this one. And he's painted this one up for his Iron Warriors. And uh, yeah, it looks really nice with the kind of brushed metal effect that he's gone for it. Uh, the guns look really, really cool. Obviously I've got the close combat one for my uh, World Eaters, but I really do want to do a ranged one as well to go alongside it. Um, Got to say, but both this and the uh, the close combat version, they do have an awful lot of parts. So it does take a little bit longer to build than the classic Forge World one, but it is just as poseable. Um, obviously, what was probably a single resin piece in the original kit is now a number of different plastic pieces that go together. Um, it's going to give you so much custom customization. Uh, a lot of the chest plates and stuff on the on the front of them are different as well, but over the kits. So if you've got multiples in your force, um, you're going to have some variety. Neither of us have actually gone for the kind of trim on the side. That's an option on the kit as well. So um, yeah, there's some fun stuff that you can do um, with the Leviathan box. And uh, yeah, definitely exciting to see Games Workshop release more plastic kits based on the resin models. Uh, I'm sure that's a trend that will continue. Um, obviously, when this goes up, we've got the Sakaran 
and the Spartan available as separate kits now. Uh, and we know that there's a new Predator kit coming based on that classic Predator look too. Uh, I'd really like to see some of the older resin flyers come as plastic kits as well uh, because they are a bit of a pain to put together. So um, yeah, it's it's exciting to see what releases they've got. Um, obviously we've got the Mechanicum up for pre-order today too. So I'd like to see some of their kits get plastic variations as well. Um, but you know, the, the Leviathan, the Spartan, the Sakaran, it's all a, a good sign that Games which we can take those resin models and make plastic models that are, are just as good and side by side with the resin one you wouldn't really know the difference so yeah massive props to GW for um, converting those kits to plastic so yeah that was a look at the the range Leviathan uh, it is up for pre-order today alongside a load of other Horus Heresy goodies um, we've got loads of videos up on the website this morning so uh, yeah if you're into heresy I'll stick one of them as the uh, the next video and you should be able to watch that we're also over on spruceandbrews.com uh, I've got posts on all of these with some better pictures and uh, yeah a bit of a write up on each of them uh, and again if you're a Mechanicum fan check out our uh, Lieber Mechanicum review as well where I go through the full book and uh, take a look at that so yeah if you've enjoyed this why not give us a, uh, a follow we do lots of videos like this lots of unboxings lots of reviews uh, we'll be getting back to doing some battle reports soon as well once we're set up in the new studio so yeah exciting times ahead but until next time hope you have a great weekend and we'll see you soon